this video, I want to teach you some laws and principles of personal branding. This is going to be super instrumental for your real estate business because once you truly learn these principles, you can apply it to building a unique identity that's going to make you be the go-to agent in your community. It's going to help you stand out as a real estate agent and attracting the right clients from your market to your brand. Stay with me, I'm gonna share my screen in a little bit and walk you through some of these principles and strategy. So before I do that, I just wanna do a quick introduction about myself, especially if this is your first time coming to my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you and I really appreciate it. My name is Darmila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate agent with EXP Realty Brokerage and I'm also a CRM peer coach with Inside Real Estate. So on this channel, I talk about everything to do with real estate marketing, lead generation, CRM systems, systems, process, marketing principles and strategies, name it, I shared here on this channel. And a lot of them are my own experience of working in the marketing space as well as now in real estate as an investor as well. So I bring a lot of my, my experiences to you and now I work really closely with my agents in our group of now at the time of recording this in June of 2024, uh, 73, 74 plus agents I work with closely on a weekly basis as well as coaching clients as well with Inside Real Estate. So I get to bring all of those experiences to you and to teach you and to share some of these ideas with you. So if any of this resonates with you, I hope you learn and join me on this journey. I highly recommend you click that subscribe button and stay connected, especially if you are a brand new agent and you're in the process of building your brand, creating a brand for yourself, and you want to create a unique identity that is going to really withstand competition, but at the same time establish something and build some ground and roots in, in your market, then this is the, the, the place to be because I'm going to walk you through some strategies. If you're looking to switch brokerages, join and partner with me at eXp Realty and choose me as your sponsor. Or if you're looking to choose a sponsor, I highly recommend you meet with me. I can't wait to share with you all of the resources and the training, the ample amount of support you get when you join Agent Wolfpack. All of the information about Agent Wolfpack and our group and myself in the description below. I highly recommend it. My calendar link is in there book a call i'll be happy to meet with you and share everything i know about our brokerage and our and what it's like to be part of our community so let's get started i'm going to just zoom into my my presentation so i can share some strategies with you before i jump into some of the principles of personal branding laws the eight personal branding laws i first and foremost want to talk a little bit about what personal branding is if you, especially if you're a newer agent and you haven't worked in the marketing field, you've never done a marketing plan or ever worked on building a brand, it's so important that you understand, you know, personal brand is, you know, you as an as a brand and you are, it's, and, and the branding is the activity, the active of, of taking your brand out to the community. So it's the process of intentionally you know, positioning your brand, shaping your brand in a way that of how other people would perceive you. So it's really important that your perception of an individual yourself and sometime some of the brand positioning can be based on your experience, you as a realtor, your expertise, maybe some of the things that, that you're good at, your achievements and, and achievements, but also maybe competencies and things that make you unique and and that could be positioning yourself in a community, but it could be in, in an industry or a marketplace, and especially with us as an as a as a realtor in a particular area. And this is going to help you elevate your credibility. You know this this personal branding and going through this exercise of building a brand development, and it's going to help you differentiate yourself from the competition, and helping you attract the right clients and the right audience to you. So let's talk and dive a little deeper into the eight laws of personal branding. Personal branding, if you can understand the strategy and apply it to your business, you will have an identity of the personal brand that will last a lifetime and it will grow and shift with you as you scale and grow your real estate business as different services you take on. So it's important that you understand the first law of personal branding is the law of specialization. And so what I mean by that is, again, it's kind of going back to some of the videos that I recently posted around real estate farming. You want to focus and specialize in an area, in a marketplace, so that you're not that that realtor in New York, you're not the realtor in Atlanta, 
and the San Francisco and Toronto realtor. You are the Toronto realtor. You are the realtor in your area. You Maybe you are the Galveston, Texas realtor. You are the realtor of that area. Number two is the law of leadership. Becoming a leader in the community. So the whole concept of, again, understanding your area, becoming that go-to person in your community, doing the research, being an advocate for an advocate for your community, and and being that authority level who knows a lot of information about real estate and your marketplace. And the way to do that is to learn and to share this information on a lot of different places. And that's why it's so part of your marketing. So number three is the law of personality. Remember folks, you are building your brand around you. Your brand isn't somebody else. That's why it's called personal branding. You are not branding a product or another services. When I was a marketing consultant working for uh, private brands as well as for the government or for -for not-for-profits that I worked at, I was promoting their brand. I was promoting them as an organization, as a company. But in this case, I'm promoting myself, my voice, my tone, my personality. And you don't have to change that. You're just going to use these strategies to really amplify the, the messaging. Number four is the law of distinctiveness. So think about it this way. It's so important that you figure out what is that value proposition you bring to the table? What is so unique about you? And sometimes the UVP, unique value proposition, You might have also seen it as a USP, unique selling proposition. And and a lot of time, this can be like I mentioned to you in the last video, where I had an agent who was a retired firefighter who became a real estate agent. So that that would be great. That's an identity that stays with you. That's part of your 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 makeup of your narrative and your story. And you can bring that into this because now you know every aspect of different cities, and that makes you a unique realtor, right? And so you know, what makes you unique? The fact that I'm a real estate investor who became a realtor, right? So that's a a key knowledge that I bring to the table and that makes me a unique realtor. And that's gonna, again, set me apart from the competition. The number five is the law of visibility. I'm sorry for touching the mic there. Hopefully it's not um, affecting the audio. The law of visibility is, is the again the concept of consistently being seen repetitively consistently and that's why it's so important that when you choose a channel to communicate whether it be youtube i'm constantly on time always the same video you know the same time i'm send i'm sharing content and, and sharing videos because to you you're my audience my realtors and real estate agents i want to be you know, seen repeatedly, I want to be consistent in the fact that if I tell you that I'm going to share something that I come out and I share them, and you want to do the same as well. And if people can't see you, they can't work with you and keep you top of mind and choose you as the real estate agent. So that is the fifth law of personal branding, the law of visibility. Number six is the law of utility. So this is where it's a big one for me. And if you've been in my training, if you've been in my courses, you know this, I've spoke about it many times. One of my biggest pet peeve is, and you've seen this, you probably have family members or friends who have a certain personality on social media. They're a completely different person, but when you see them in person, they're a different person. So it's so important that when you're online or if you are, are seen through your marketing efforts, your personality matches your offline behavior. So important, you know, you can have this bubbly, amazing, uplifting, kind, you know, attractive personality online. And then when they come to see you and when you do showings, they're like, oh, that looks like a different person. And even the way you dressed and present yourself, sometimes I see some realtors that look amazing, you know, really well put together, dressed to the T's, looks great. And then I see them in person and at events and they're not the same people. So make sure, you know, you know, you're not highly editing your photos and people can not recognize you. And, you know, you, you are your brand, you're unique and you're beautiful and you want to share that story and you want people are coming to you for a reason and they're attracted to your personality. They want to work with you. They trust you. They like you and they want to get to know you a little bit more. And so, you know, make sure that your, again, your public brand matches your offline behavior. And number seven is the law of persistence. I'm a big fan of this. 
it's a whole concept of sticking with it. And if you're at EXP Realty, you know, our founder, Glenn Sefford, there was a beautiful article that was written in Success Magazine that I read where he even talks about this whole concept of it's not just your ability to do certain things, but it's your ability to hold it together, to stick through the tough times, to stick with it and play it out, let it play out. And remember, growth requires time and you need to let your and same thing with seo same thing with algorithm same thing with your brand it all requires time to build and you need to consistently and that's why my business partner jacob and i we made karuvi is because it's we literally do social media for all of our agents is social media done for you when you join our group for free so it's because we want social media to be on the side kind of building for you it's growing over time right same thing with with the, this whole concept is the law of persistence. When you as a realtor, when you come to this space, you know it's going to be challenging, but you got it because you're not going to quit, right? You're going to, and that is the, the way to be win and the way to become an amazing realtor is to stick with it, to learn, to grow. And we're here for you and we're that community that can help you get there. Eight law of personal branding is the law of goodwill. At the end of the day, folks, if you, you remember, you are helping people with some of the biggest purchases of their life and you want to make sure you're coming from a, a really good place. You're following the laws, you're following, you're compliant and, and you're coming from a well-intentioned place uh, and, and you are embodying your values. You are, are helping people with some of the biggest things in their life. So you want to make sure that you are loyal to them and you, you are trusted and that you get to do the right thing do the right thing. You make the right choice. If something has to be said, you say it. If something has to be disclosed, you disclose it. And you do the right thing as a realtor because we um, want to do the right thing so that, you know, there's all the energies and I'm a big believer in karma. So you want to make sure that your business is based on good value and good things. So these are the eight laws of personal branding. Let me know if any of them, something that was new to you, but really, if you think about it, every brand that has been successful has all of these really in, ingrained in them. They're the roots of their brand. They're really part of the value, that the core value of their brand. And I hope you get to build a successful brand using these eight laws of personal branding. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you're looking to join and choose a sponsor at EXP Realty, look up Agent Wolfpack. Make sure you choose me as your sponsor so you can get access to all my training and resources for free. And you get access to Mike Sherrod, Connor Steinbrook, an amazing seven tiers of people above you. Such an honor to be a part of, part of this community. And you get access to my courses, my training, all of our weekly calls and support and culture. I'm here to support you and book a call. All the, the link is in the description below and I can't wait to show you how I'm gonna help you grow your business. I'll see you next time.